Hi there, Simon from SimonWoodTech.com. Three Sauvignons, uh, two from New Zealand, one from Chile, which is where I'm going to start. And it is um, Torres, Miguel Torres, Santa Dina, 2012, Sauvignon Blanc Reserva. Now, whereabouts is this from? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I am looking on the back for a region, and I can't really see one. Um, so uh, I'm not sure. I know they've got uh, they've got quite a few vineyards in in Curico. Um, actually, yes, there's, there's a sign on the back, Chile Central, Curico. Uh, so dig in. Well, there's a juicy greenness about that. Uh, Fruit-wise, maybe a bit of lemon, uh, rhubarb even. Um, it smells like it's going to be um, quite full in flavour. Maybe not the world's most subtle of wine, but then which Sauvignon is? Uh, dig in. Clean, fresh, lemony, grassy. One of those wines that uh, there are fruitier Sauvignons. Uh, but what I like about this one is there is a confident, uh, pithy, stony, river pebble dryness. Um, it's uh, yes, the, the fruit wise. I get it, still get that rhubarb, but then, then the citrus is, t is is coming through as well, and it's more it's turning more into that pithy grapefruit. Uh, but the fruit is um, is sitting there in nice tension with this stoniness. Uh, makes me think it's not going to jump out and win competitions, but it might win what I call the empty bottle test. Louder wines might sort of go, here I am, and they'll get some of the gongs, but uh, this one, the bottle might be emptied before some of the others. I do like that one. Uh, let's try wine number two. So we are in New Zealand now. This is the Wine Society's New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc 2012. Both of these are from Marlborough in New Zealand and made for them by Villa Maria. Well, this is another one where it's got that, it's more that grassy greenness rather than a bouncy Jack Russell type fruit that uh, assaults you and you just want to kick off your leg. Um, it smells like there's, a, a, again, a stoniness to it. Um, that some of the herbs, um, the green grass and, uh, and the citrus, it smells, smells good. And then when you come to taste it, there's maybe a little bit too much richness and uh, going to that guava passion fruit character. Uh, I think they've left a little bit of sugar in there, not too much to uh, uh, round it out. And I almost wish they hadn't because it feels like the fruit was uh, confident enough and ripe enough to, to stand by itself. Um, and uh, so maybe it's got probably more flavour uh, in terms of sheer amount of flavour than the, the Santa Dina. But the Santa Dina has got that little bit more refinement, if you want to call it like, call it that. Um, I uh, Yes, I couldn't drink too much of that. I could probably drink a glass or two, maybe even three, of the first one. Uh, fine, uh, let's try wine number three. Uh, Stoneburn Sauvignon Blanc, again, Marlborough, and again, 2012 vintage. Or vintage, as they say here. A bit more cooked fruit here, um, just lightly cooked. Um, uh, things like uh, lemon, uh, lemon curd and uh, lemon meringue pie and uh, very, very tart apples that have been stewed. That, that bre a bit, bit of that Bramley apple character coming through here. Um, it feels like it's a... Is it, is it higher in alcohol? No, they're both 13%. It uh, feels like there's a rounder, richer, sweeter core of fruit. Uh, let's just see whether it tastes drier or sweeter than the previous one. Lots of big, plump, fleshy fruit there. Um, there is this, um, what I call almost like a Macon-like apple, cooked apple character, uh, with that, just the, uh, you, you know, if you make an um, apple crumble and some of the crumble doesn't quite set and the fruit's got in touch with, in contact with it and you're getting that slightly undercooked thoddiness, there's some of that here. Um, I mean, the fresh one for me is the, is, the, is the Santa Dina. That one's probably got the one with the... Um, I, I don't know whether I prefer the flavours of that or the Santa Dina. Santa Dina, for me, is, is, is the, uh, the, the pick of these three. Probably put the Stoneburn second. And uh, I mean, it wasn't that the Wine Society's one was, uh, was bad. It was just that um, it was a bit simple and just that little bit too loud. Hey, uh, but um, I'll be going off and having uh, Santa Dina now and maybe trying to find some little bit of something fishy to go along with it. See you soon.